Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to my new model Barmy channel. Uh, I've noticed lately that uh, a lot of my fellow YouTube modelers have been introducing their videos uh, whilst enjoying a tea. So I thought well rather than be left out um, I better join them so uh, cheers uh, and uh, yeah I can I can kind of see the attraction uh, and that was indeed uh, very enjoyable and I'm rather hoping that UV and W are equally as refreshing. Uh, anyway, um, what have I been up to in my man cave? Um, what do you think might go nicely with a tea? Uh, probably a slice of cake I reckon. So should we have a look at what I've been cooking up in the man cave? Oh yes, that does indeed look like a delicious uh, bit of cake there. Uh, but looks can be deceiving, so uh, let's just take a closer look at what's going on here. So let's just spin this round. Yeah, okay. I see. Let's take a closer look. Hmm, this is interesting. I wonder what happens if I pushed that. Oh, I see. Okay, so we've had our fun. Let's have a look at this layout in a bit more detail. So this is Pico narrow gauge flexi track at about 120 mil radius. And this was built to run my little 009 loco that the guys at Budget Model Railways gave me to build and review. So here you can see I've made some uh, wagons from Pico chassis with um, coffee stirrer bodies. And this was the uh, cake made out of mount board uh, and you can see I've strengthened the inside so just once again with a bit of cardboard and some hot glue uh, and to pipe it to make it look more like a cake I cut the nozzle on the filler uh, in order to pipe the would-be icing onto the cake using filler I was quite pleased with that I'm not a baker by any stretch of the imagination but I thought that was reasonably passable uh, and there we go, that, they're the mine doors, uh, once again, coffee stirrers, uh, and just the general scene, I wanted to um, fill it up as much as I could without it going overboard. Uh, once again, all bits and pieces I had in stock. Uh, this build cost me about 17 quid overall, so that was for the track, uh, the bulldozer, as you can see there, um, and the figures. So the little hut is just uh, corrugated plastic card. Uh, I've used plenty of little matchsticks and coffee stirrers for the various accoutrements and bits of timber all around the place. Uh, dap hole figures uh, in double O. I do wish they'd do them in N gauge because N gauge figures are pretty rubbishy generally. Um, the name of the layout is the Buttermilk River Sponge Mining Company. So I've used the BMR logo on the front of the loco to good effect. Uh, there you see inside the hut is a 9 volt battery and a on and off push button switch. So I made the hut to fit that. Uh, close up of my two little wagons. Uh, scatter material is the basis of the sponge, uh, which is quite effective. Uh, so I haven't built a novelty layout for a while. It's always a thorny subject, novelty layouts. Um, because uh, the purists tend to dismiss them a bit, uh, and that's fair enough. Um, but I do like novelty layouts. Having exhibited layouts for about 10 years, 
the public seem to absolutely love them. And anything that garners interest in this hobby of ours uh, and gets people interested in model railways, I think has got to be a good thing, right? So anyway, uh, thanks for joining me, even if novelty layouts aren't your cup of tea, or in this particular case, a slice of cake. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you join me for the next project. Cheers for now.